Now that we've introduced this idea of complex data types known as objects, we're going to get into effectively the data type that we are going to be exploring for the rest of the semester, something known as lists. And the quickest way to think about a list is using another word. It's a collection of values. And what I mean by that is now when we're dealing with variables, you know, let's say, for example, I had an X. Before, X was just a single variable, uh, 42 or hello, it was a string, but it was always just some single digit or single valued variable. Uh, the variable was just some single value. But now that we're dealing with this idea of collections of values, we're now saying that, oh, well, this particular variable, just to put it in here, numbers, numbers could happen to have multiple values associated to it. So in this case, it has six values associated to a single variable. Well, in that case, we need a way to uh, deal with uh, each one of those values. And we do that through some new terminology. The first one and the second one, the biggest one is this idea of something known as an index. And then the second is something known as an element. Now, element, it's just the value associated or those values that are stored in the collection. So let's imagine we had the days of the week as strings in a collection. Well, Monday, that is an element and it's just, a, you know, again, it's a spot in the list. But specifically now we're dealing with where it's located. Inside of a list, you're going to see some associated indices attached to them. Now, one of the things that we have to do when we're dealing with programming is we start at zero. So if I was to start my list of weeks off at Sunday, then the index for Sunday would be zero. And then, okay, well, what's the day that follows uh, Sunday? It's Monday, obviously. So in that case, it would just be one element over or one index over one. Uh, and that would be our Monday. And then two would be Tuesday. Three would be Wednesday. Four would be Thursday. You sort of get the point. But it's now that we have these indices to reference specific spots in memory. Now, we're going to use a very basic case here for a second. Let's just imagine I have a list of numbers. 8675309. Okay, well, each one of those numbers, if we're going super, super, super basic, each one of those numbers has or can be represented with 32 bits. If we're thinking about, once again, physical memory, so just to draw out that memory stick one more time, we're thinking about memory and we're thinking about that eight. So that would be zero, 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 uh, zero, thinking in the top of my head, zero, one, zero, zero. I think that's right. Don't quote me on that. But the entire idea is those are all the ones and zeros needed to represent that eight. Then right beside that would be some more zeros. So zero, 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 uh, four, two, zero. Oh, okay, so <laughs> let me correct that because someone on the internet will freak out. There we are. Uh, so again, the entire idea is, well, when I have all of these elements in a list, so again, if we're looking at it from the days of the week, uh, it's very easy to understand. Oh, well, Sunday and then Sunday ends and Monday begins. What's really going on there is effectively we're saying in memory, I need to skip some 32 bits to get to my next index. So again, if you think about it, eight is the zero index, six is one, seven is two, five is three, four, five, six. And I'm effectively saying if I wanna access a particular element, I need to 
go to some starting point, wherever that starting point is in memory, plus 32, in our case, 32 bits, because we're dealing with numbers, times some index. So in the case of that eight, start at the starting point, because zero times 32, nothing. One times uh, 32, however, uh, 32, not eights. But for our sake, that would skip over these ones and zeros and then start right about here. And it would go on and on and on. Again, we're not dealing with the super complex memory, but the more important aspect to this is specifically we start counting at zero and we move on from there. So how do we represent and work with lists? Well, quite simply, we are going to be utilizing square brackets and the square brackets represent in Python. I'm dealing with a list. Then I simply just pass in the values I want at any particular index. So in this case, uh, days of the week is the variable name. And then I have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday uh, for all of the different respective uh, elements in that list. Okay, well, now that I have a variable and I have created my list, what can I do with it? That's where we start to get into accessing elements from the list. In this case, I would still be using that variable's name. That's just my way of associating, uh, you know, again, where in memory to start. Then I would use the square brackets and give it the index that we're working off of. So print days of the week three. What would that be? Well, again, if we look at the uh, days of the week, again, we start counting at zero. One, two, three. So this would print out Wednesday. We can also store them in temporary variables just in case. So I could uh, take that Wednesday, if I don't want to type out days of the week uh, three every single time I need to work with that variable, I could just save it as temp. And now that we're again thinking about this, we can also manipulate our elements as well. So let's say, for example, for whatever reason, we want to change Thursday into Thor's day. We are paying our homage because you know, I don't know, Disney Plus and Marvel and Loki going on, right? I don't know. Uh, but we want to replace Thursday with Thor's day. Well, in that case, again, just like we would do with making any variable, if I had a variable x equals 5, and then later on in my code I said x is going to equal 10, I'm just changing the value of the variable. Well, I don't want to change all of the days of the week. I only want to change specifically one value at a particular index. So again, I would put in square brackets the index. And wouldn't you know it, I now have access to, or I, I've now changed Thursday into Thursday.